Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Welcome to a reimagining of an old video. It was uh, formally streamed years ago, basically live, and we thought that since nobody actually wanted to watch it in that format, we would re-edit it and give me a little bit more time to create some fresh, new, fantastic content. I'm biased. You'll have to tell me if it's fantastic or not after the fact. Catch you on the flip side. That's not cool. That was never cool. Why did I say that? Burn it. Well, it's only just slightly less than four hours left. That's, that's not... <sighs> I always double and triple check the, the that positioning. So it's a compound radius. I've never, never tried to use a belt sander like that. 12 inch radius to roughly an 18 or 20. Um, and it's actually flat. That's, uh, yeah, that's not half bad. Bloody hell. We should do the radius thing that way all the time. <laughs> you fool. That was a bad idea. Oh my goodness. Fret slotting saw. Mark out the depth I want. So the tape acts not as a depth stop, but as a depth marker really. Just to make sure that uh, all of the fret slots are deep enough for the frets. So all of the slots are cleaned out. So this time no unboxings, no custom 12th fret inlay. I'm still tempted though. What do you think? What you I'm trying to build a guitar in nine hours. Oh, well, that's why it's not finished. It's only been, uh, well, let's, let's have a time check. Five hours, 32 minutes. There's, there's a possibility that we're going to actually manage this. So what time is this going to be finished? Half past seven tonight. Half past seven tonight? That's the plan. OK, I'll come, I'll come back. Yeah? I'll, yeah, why not? <laughs> now, that's a serious challenge. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be playing and playable. <laughs> Half for seven. Phil's going to come back tonight. We hadn't actually discussed this yeah. at all. I tell you what, if it's not finished, if it's not finished, you owe me some beer. Whether I whether it's finished or not, I owe you some beer. <laughs> okay, okay. That's even more of a challenge because if I'm, it was, I'm going to. Um, do I keep talking to you so I get more beer? Yeah. Putting you off, or, or shall I leave <laughs> him to it? Well, honestly, the plan actually is to have a playable at that point. If, um, but if you're honestly up for coming back, that would be awesome. Let's do it. Yeah? Let's cool. That's, that may just be the impetus I need to actually get this done. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all right. We essentially have a neck. We have an instrument. What we don't have is a neck pocket in which to uh, put the instrument. Now about that custom 12th fret inlay. Don't do it. Yeah. That I'm not doing. Don't. What are you thinking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. no. Ben, don't, don't do it. Hmm. This is what scuppered me last time. So, what we have is a little dental burr in the Proxon router. And uh, I've affixed 
another one of my favourite little luthiers tricks actually. I've affixed a small propeller of masking tape to that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the third time you've done that, Ben. So this was going to go on the guitar somewhere anyway. Getting the excess out. Uh, now Trimson Guitars sell a uh, inlay powder set. And uh, this is one of two methods. Uh, and this is the, the quick and dirty method, shall we say. So that's gunmetal grey powder. Flood super glue into the pocket, fill it with uh, powder, and rinse and repeat a couple of times. Now that's aluminium powder, just to try and get a different effect. So once again, Ben has allowed himself to get completely distracted by a superfluous and unrequired part of the guitar build. The other method to use with this inlay powder is to mix it into an epoxy base and then put the epoxy into your cavity. That takes longer but does yield more even results. And uh, it can be used with uh, glow-in-the-dark material as well to great and awesome effect. I'm quite happy with that. So that, with oil on it, we're just shy of three hours to go. Um, and despite what I said to Phil, I think I might end up owing him a significant amount of beer. Bring on the frets. This is where a guitar comes to life, really. Five hours and fifty-four minutes. That's crazy. Yeah. Good old crimson fret and uh, cutters. Crimson fretting hammer, that's my new dead blow. Um, I'm trying not to advertise our stuff too much, but uh, it's awesome, so why not? I'm vacillating between vacillating? huge confidence and crushing, crushing despair. Awesome. Then they should. Five hours, 59 minutes and yada, yada, yada. So we are two thirds of the way through. One hour for setup. One hour for wiring and hardware and all that. I think I can do it. Six hours and two minutes in. Three whole hours. So I need to shape the headstock. And then I have to uh, put this in. And there we go. I should buy shares in a masking tape company. The moment of truth.
So essentially I'm now on the final sanding. I've done the routing, I've done the carving, uh, everything's in place except I suppose some drill holes for, uh, for the wiring. Kingwood is great. Even better in person. At this point a huge mistake is made. Can you spot it? Put it in the comments below. So two and a half hours left. I'm not sure if words of encouragement are going to cut it this time. Believe in yourself. <laughs> If, if it had been bolt on, well, yeah. But then it would have been a bolt on. Well, that's the next one. If we ever do, if we ever try and do something. So I now don't have access to that. I don't have access to most of my frets. Um, I can level in a minute. I can sand the headstock now, which it needs to be done. All right, so it's a quarter past five. The clamps are coming off at a quarter past six, whatever the hell's happening. Just look at that. A very large part of guitar building is the final sanding, the final finishing. So we've been saying 10 hours all along, haven't we? Yes. Can we build a guitar in 10 hours? I distinctly heard that. Um, liar. Side dots should have been done before the neck was glued in but uh, we're really up against it with time. I think I need a coffee. That was a bit scary because the uh, back plate is still on. That was me surreptitiously uh, checking. It's coming to life. The guitar is coming to life. He's alive. This is, this is where the chaos absolutely, truly, totally begins. If you rest a pencil that's been cut in half through the lead on the frets, it gives you basically the lowest point at which you can cut your fret slot. You then use a normal pencil to uh, mark slightly higher than that, which is going to be the size of the nut. Hacksaws, best for bones. Six hours, 57 minutes, 29 seconds. Two hours left to finish building a guitar. Don't do this at home, folks. It's not good for the heart. I said heart, I meant lungs. Or did I mean rushing around? Hmm, I don't know what I mean anymore. Here I'm rounding the ends of the nut off, uh, where your hand will be touching it the most. The nut should be super glued down in place. It's a uh, super glue is great. It's very strong, but uh, with a good sharp tap with a screwdriver or a hammer. Um, or another bit of wood or something, that will delaminate and come away quite easily. So we stand at 7 hours, 3 minutes, 50 seconds. I have failed the 6 hour guitar test, but the 10 hour guitar that I'm currently building... <coughs> did I say 10? That's what we've been saying since the beginning, isn't it? <sighs> it 
test. Okay, so so that's good. I'm quite happy with that. A hammer is required. Those little uh, tweezers are absolutely stunning, micro fine. Um, I don't know what they were originally for, a surgeon or something, but uh, it it goes down to a point one of a mil point, and uh, it is awesome. You can find joy in fine tools, no matter what they are actually made for. We have two hours of. Uh, of craziness and uh, quick fire decisions, potential catastrophe, <sighs> tears, pain, or perfection. Okay, side dots in. Yay. Stop looking at stuff. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, it helps and makes me feel good about myself. Uh, hit that notification button as well. And, uh, well, come back for the next video when we make it live. Soon.